Joe before with Penco. Penco, right? With Penco Engineering, yes. I just bring you up to speed just a little bit, Brett. Okay. This is the Hell's Canyon draw. This is yeah, north piece of Barnard Road okay. on the River Road. Okay. So we we elected to have uh, Penco draft up some plans, put in a 30 foot steel piling bridge. Okay. And wing walls, sheet piling on this. Okay. 20 foot height, as far as that goes. It's going to be about 20 foot high. It's a, okay. it's a high fill through that area, I guess. So. And then we would be doing all the earthwork. They'd okay. be putting in the guardrail, and we'd do all the seating. Basically, all the seating. Yeah, the dirt work and the seating. No, the traffic okay. control you already have out there. So There was no cost share on this because there was no bridge there before. Okay. So therefore, we don't qualify through anything from KDOT. But there was a bridge there maybe 60, 50 years ago or something like that because we did find some H-piling after it got washed out. Okay. What they had prior was just a six-foot tube and a huge dam. <laughs> so therefore, we couldn't get any, you know, any help there. And then uh, as far as flood assistance, there wasn't enough damage because it was a narrow enough area that we yeah. couldn't get any assistance there either. So. Okay. So we kind of stuck with this. So we thought we would seek some bids and see how well this is going to turn out. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And we have to open the we have to wait. Yeah, should we should wait till ten o'clock to open the yeah, bid. Need so. to wait till ten. But anyway, in case somebody else brings a bid in. Are you talking the old Barnhart place out over here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tom Williams, you go west a half mile, and then the river road goes north towards yeah. northeast yeah. towards the Barnard Bridge. Okay. Then it's the next one where we had that detour. You haven't ever been up there then? Yeah, I have. Okay, yeah, where that's all. I washed just don't out. go up there very much. Okay, that's where that's where there's the wall from going okay. in. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I was on the, the same. Wind slowed down any up there? It's not very nice out there. <laughs> My gas mileage was not very good. <laughs> you got about 13. <laughs> Had to fill up when I got to town. <laughs> Should have about had enough to make it all the way, but it <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> At least there wasn't a whole lot of dust. Yeah, I was worried about it. Hey. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I hate that when that, you never know what the person in front of you is doing. Or smoke. See, they got a fire north of Bank one. Yeah, do the same thing. Yeah. Can't see. And Hopefully they got everything under control. Well, they, according to Ryan, they have it under control, but there are lots of stories out there already. <laughs> but what did and did not burn. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. But I heard yesterday they were having really bad blackout dirt around Norton. Oh. Yeah, but that one closed for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, Norton and that 383. Well, they had a wreck there too, maybe. Probably they closed it. Uh, another thing, uh, every other year, you know, we're required to do our bridge inspections. Mm -hmm. Pinko is doing them right now. So, yeah, yeah we started Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Monday. Or Tuesday. Monday. Monday. We're out here two days. Yeah, it was Monday and Tuesday. He was out here. Okay. And then we'll be back Monday. We didn't come out yesterday or today. <laughs> we stayed home. <laughs> That basically a lot of just look, get it underneath and looking at the pipelines and what have you. Yeah, we we just want to make sure there's, you know, nothing's happened since the last inspection. They get inspected every two years. Every bridge over 20 feet, the federal government requires them to be inspected every two years. And you do have a lot of them that are under 20 that we do not look at unless you request us to look at them. So. But you have to do that to meet the federal requirements, otherwise you don't get your federal money. So we should hopefully finish that up in a couple weeks. Should be done by the end of the month. Good. And of the 89 bridges that they're going to inspect on that, so that we have to do. Hmm. 
The other thing is, just to bring you up to speed, um, we did get awarded to remove the bridge uh, 69, and this is south of Dan Bussey's on Road 31. Okay. We, we call it Trout Hill Bridge. So we're going to be removing that and then putting in a 50-foot bridge there? I had planned on putting a 50-foot steel stringer in, but no. There you go. Think twice. I'm <laughs> a little concerned for <laughs> <with> that, too. <laughs> so... Uh, and then it, we get a 90-10 funding through okay. KDOT for up to 150000 okay. And then we can get another $50,000 credit if we remove another bridge, which we took out. We're planning on taking out the one six miles north of Bird City and putting in a six-foot culvert. And we just okay. got the culvert in yesterday to replace it. But we can't go any further with that till we get some paperwork from KDOT, and I'm kind of surprised they haven't been moving forward on some of that. Yeah, they should be getting them agreements out, I would think. So, so. And once they do that, once you have a signed agreement, you have two years to do the work, okay. or to get the bid, the bridge bid out to a contractor. It doesn't have to be done, but, mm -hmm. but we'll do it quicker than that. I assume you'd want to do it as quick as possible, yeah. Yeah. and not wait to two years. <clears throat> and that's under the Kansas Local Bridge Improvement Program. So it's a program I hope they continue. There's quite a few going around, this, this go around on western, northwest Kansas anyway, so. Yeah, I think there's eight or nine yeah. out in this area. So. And before there wasn't any, I don't believe, so. Mm -hmm. I could. So. Yeah. So. But yeah, if you can get a bridge for around... <laughs> 250, then it'll only cost you 50,000. Yeah. Basically, that's good. So that's what we were hoping for, but they may be a touch more than that. And just see. Yeah. And then we took out the bridge that left a message south of right. St. Francis Feed Lot on yeah. Road 11. Mm -hmm. We took it out Tuesday and was put. We got that eight-foot arch culvert in. The one hang-up we had on that. You know, on the specs are supposed to be six foot two or six foot three for a height. This was closer to six eleven to seven. Shoot. So that raised my road up quite a little more. Road. Yeah, and we're gonna have to we're hauling dirt into. Mm. I mean, it'll still be fine. You'll have more capacity, but uh, so it's a little bigger than what they. Yeah, well, then the specs what they show. Because we got our flow line happy with what we want there, but. Yeah, it's just taking a little more dirt and a little more time what we expected, but anyway. When you take a bridge out, do you put some type of little road on the side to get through, or do you just have to go around? J uh, just enough for us, and that's it. That's it. We got the road closed, because it's just a mile detour for, for everyone, so it's not a big problem. So. And it's not that used? No, well, it's, it, it's, a, it's a busy trend. one, but everybody can get around it, so. And it's only three miles that we got it blocked off, so. Well, two and a half, because we still got to let everybody into the feedlot, so. Yeah. And slower time of the year, you know, not much grain trucks or anything like that moving that direction, so. Yeah. But we'll probably be have, we'll have it open tonight, I expect, but we won't get the gravel on. We'll probably just put road work ahead, just kind of for a warning for the public, so. Anyway, things are going along there fairly good as far as that goes. And the deck, we were fighting the deck problems, you know, and the bridge always settled and stuff like that. And our deck boards wasn't very good at all. So, anyway, but that was, I think we said that was like a 60 year old bridge or something. Seemed like. Yeah, yeah so. I think it was. Anyway. Yeah, if we can get rid of them, it's good to get rid of them. Put culverts in. So. Have, have you done that local road safety plan? You signed up for that. No. I've heard some other counties doing signs and stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't know if you had any interest. But KDOT has a local road safety plan, they call it. Um, they pay 50000 the county would pay five, and you'll get a... They'll come out and review all your FAS routes for safety issues. 
and then they'll send you a report is what that is. Uh, they're recommending that because they want you to have that done so you can apply for high-risk rural road funds, HRRR. And that can be used for, like, sign replacement. They will come around and replace all your signs on your, again, on your FAS roof, not on your off-system. And you said our cost would be 5000 KDOT would pay the 50 Of the local road safety plan. Okay. Now, the, the high-risk rural road, the, the signing project, we used to call them signing projects, that's 100% KDOT money. So it won't cost you a penny if you decided to do it. Okay. They replace every sign on all your main routes at no cost to the county. Hmm. But the only way you're going to get that money is if you do the local road safety plan. They kind of go together. you got to do the one before you'll get selected for the other. So, How late were you out there, Cody? So it's something to think about, How I guess. How late were you out there? I think them are doing February. Okay. Them applications. I, I never really looked into it because we kind of been keeping up pretty good with yeah, our signs. We're on, too. So. I guess some counties haven't done the local road safety plan because they think liability-wise... Mm -hmm. If KDOT tells you this is a dangerous intersection and then you don't do anything yeah. with it, they're worried about what might happen if somebody has a wreck and you have a report saying it's dangerous. So <laughs> visit with your county attorney about that. <laughs> so that's why some counties aren't doing it. Because then there's a documentation saying, say this hill's dangerous or this curve's dangerous. And then they come in and say you knew better. You knew it and you didn't do anything with it. Exactly. So that's... I guess that's the negative side of getting the safety plan done. Oh, but there is a good benefit of getting the whole county all the signing, signs, yeah. yeah, for free. Yes, you do that, don't you? What's that? You do that, don't you? Open them. Can. I guess close enough. Is it close enough? 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 We'll go so ahead with this. Let's see. I'll let Gerald explain what bids he's got then. So, yeah, we received three bids um, for the project we were talking about earlier, the Hell's Canyon bridge replacement. Um, that's pretty normal for out here. There's not a lot of contractors that bid on these types of bridges this far out anymore. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the concrete ones we will get Claver or King, a couple others, but... But on steel stringers, it's either these two or there's a firm, there's a bridge builder out in Nebraska that sometimes bids, but he's busy clear into 2022 already. So, so we Which did not get a bid from him. R and M bridge, yeah. yeah. So, if you want me to, I'll open these. Yep. Okay, the first one's from L and M Construction. Um, they're out of Great Bend, Kansas. Just read the total bid: um, two hundred and fifty-three thousand six hundred and eighty dollars. And we did require bid bonds, and there is a bid bond. The second bids: Reese Construction. They're out of Salina. Bid was two hundred and forty two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. And the third bid is Zach Dirt. I'd contact this company because they was putting bridges in over at Ray. Okay. Their bid is $887,125. Which do you, uh, what's that? Do you have a suggestion on which? I, my, I guess my engineer's estimate, just so you have it, was $168,600. So they're all, what, 75000 over my estimate. 
your engineer estimate was what? 168,600. Hmm. So they're, they're all extremely high. And, then, and tell them about the 50-foot bridge that you... Well, we built it, this same bridge we just built in Phillips County. We let it about a year ago, and we built mm -hmm. it this summer. And it went for, it was about 148. Huh. So I upped my estimate about 20,000 because we're farther west and everything so else. Almost more mobilization. More. Huh? Almost 100 more. Yep. And that was a 50-foot bridge, and ours is 30. Yeah. And then we just built one in Smith County. That was, yeah, about 178. The 50 foot bridge. Do we have to go ahead and pick one or can, can we rebid? Or you can reject them all, you can table it and, and discuss. Or, you know, I've talked to Dave a little bit about, we talked about way back before we did this, whether to go with a concrete box structure, like a double 10 mm -hmm. by 10 concrete structure. And the reason we didn't go that way, the reason I didn't think we should go that way, I thought it'd be higher because it's going to have to be like 70 foot long because of the fill on top mm -hmm. to get safe right. shoulder slopes. So I thought, well, that length and everything is going to be higher than a bridge. Well, at this point, I'm pretty sure a concrete structure, a box structure, would be cheaper. Okay. My estimate on that, I kind of run one out roughly. We should be around 200000 But that's an estimate, and I thought this would be cheaper. So, but Is there a big difference between the two? A big difference, yeah. As far as they working, you know. Uh, biggest concern on on the box bridge is the springy soil that we have there. Yeah, there's always water running there, right? Or pretty yeah. much always running. We have springs running all the time through there. That concerns me quite a little with that. And then when you go to the box bridge, you're going to be so much wider because you got to meet this taper and everything. So we'll have a little more dirt work probably to do there. Yeah, you'd have in a little bit more. to this bridge. So that's the reason we thought this was our best option. But we didn't figure they'd come in near this high. Yeah, I didn't. it's way higher. You know, at this point, to save, say, 40, 50,000, it might be best just to reject them and then bid a box bridge and just see what it comes in. But, or table it and think about it. Can you table it and solicit a box? I don't, we're supposed to, I think, except in a bid documents, I think we put 21 days. So we can't get a box bridge probably within 21 days. Okay. So we would have to reject these first. Probably should table it then until. Or we table it till the next meeting. <clears throat> well, if you only have 21 days in regards to the bids to take action. Once they're open, right? We could ask for an extension, I suppose, but we probably uh, should do something within 21 days. Right. Because, but in order to go ahead and solicit, like you're saying, a box bridge, it's going to probably take longer than the 21 days. So you're going to have to go ahead and take action on the bids that were open today. Either you're going to make a decision on accepting one or you're going to reject them all. If you're interested in going with bids on a box bridge, you're going to have to reject them and go ahead and solicit the box. But you're saying a box bridge will be a higher maintenance because there's more dirt work and the, with the springs? Is that your...? Not necessarily higher maintenance, no. Okay. It, it's going to be more dirt work to begin with. But once okay. it's in there, it's probably going to be less maintenance because there's no guardrail or anything. Okay. So it will be nicer because there won't be any hazards along the road. Okay. Like, a, like this bridge is 28 foot wide. The right. box bridge, you won't even know it's there. It'll just be like a roadway fill because it'll be out there so far off the road. It'll just be getting it constructed because of the springs. They're going to have to channel water around or pump water around or something. Okay. What's your thoughts? I, I'm thinking maybe we had to table it till the next meeting and then Roger, we can get Roger's input on it. And, and at that time, okay. we could still. Mm -hmm. Decide to reject bids. I'm, I think that's probably better right yeah, now. Because okay. less, 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 and then we less still than twenty one days. days. Yeah, okay. and if we want to ex extend or whatever, we can do it then. Okay, mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, I, I say we table it until the next meeting then. Okay, I second it. 
And then I guess at that point, if you do reject them, just let me know if you want to go forward with like a box bridge or something or how to proceed. Okay. Yeah, because that's quite a bit of difference. 80000 over your estimate. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. the cheapest one. Well, and there's no cost share on it, too. Yeah. Right? Do we need this is all motion. There's no cost share. Yeah, it's all 100% it's all county. It's all out of county. pocket. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, if there's cost share, that would help, but if yeah. there's not any, so. Big pill to swallow that eight. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just really surprised, I guess, that they were that high. Okay. So. Okay, well, thank you. And I did bring some coats. I didn't make it out before Christmas, so. Oh, cool. I, the only size I got with me today, I forgot to grab some... Bigger one, extra How much roll. that dirt work's going to be not too terribly bad. Work or not. not <laughs> but I can bring some others out next time. It'd be more dirt work we have to come up for. I mean, extra large, right? <laughs> or large. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They run a touch small. Just, or I think they do. Maybe I'm growing. <laughs> I'm not even need a double. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Just be the extra large. Yeah. yeah. Roger's probably be his. Yeah. Or I don't know. Uh, right on if you want. They just, they just there's not a lot of give to them, I guess, is the main thing. Dave, you want to put this in in the spring or you want to do it right now? We had it set up for it was going to be completed by June 1st. So we need to read it. Okay. Well, we wanted to get it done. I know it's been out since the flood of okay. July 24th. But Okay. It's, I mean, I'm just shocked at yeah. the price of the bid. I mean, we have to absorb all the costs out of that. I agree. That's <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for okay. coming out, Jared. Good yeah. to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. The 2X? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Thank you. That's good. Did you have something for us today, Cody? Yeah, if you guys have time. Yeah, I think. We'll wait for Scott to get back in. Okay. Cody? If you gentlemen have time, um, I didn't get on the agenda because this came up yesterday. So <laughs> that's why I'm sneaking in. Um, I would like to have five minutes of executive session for non-elected personnel. Okay. I make a motion that we have a five-minute executive session for personnel. And I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes.